The Olympus EM5 Mark II was released back in 2015. Now, at the time, it cost around $1,100. Nowadays, you can find it used for about $300 and cheaper than that if you shop around because I actually found this one for $260. So just what do you get with this six-year-old camera? Well, there's a 16 megapixel micro four thirds sensor, five axis image stabilization in both stills and video mode, a three inch one million dot fully articulating LCD screen, a 3.5 millimeter mic input and tons of customizable buttons and switches. You know, in terms of build quality, the EM5 Mark II is actually really well made. You know, it's one of those cameras that you can't really get a sense of it in pictures. Uh, in real life, it's probably a little bit smaller than what you're expecting, yet ironically, it's probably kind of heavier than what you're expecting also. Uh, overall though, EM5 Mark II feels really good in the hands. In terms of photography, the EM5 Mark II is actually really solid. You know, you've got that 16 megapixel micro four thirds sensor and resolution's good and colors are great. You know, in a world where we just sort of drone on and on about Canon color science. Everyone kind of overlooks Olympus, and it's a shame because Olympus has some of the best color science in the business. Hey everybody, Future Steve here. Just wanted to jump in real quick and say if that sample photo segment seemed a little bit short, it's because it was. Uh, I had a shoot at the beach yesterday and the girl and I were standing like right at the edge of the water. I had the Olympus EM5 Mark II and the Canon M6 that I film all these videos on. They were both about like seven or eight feet behind me. You know, it was totally dry back where they were. It was fine back there. But as we were standing there taking pictures, literally a rogue wave came in and took out both cameras. Neither one of those cameras will even power on at this point. So it kind of sucks because that M6 is what I filmed my entire YouTube channel on for the past year. EM5 Mark II, it sucks because I'd set aside today to take more sample photos and film more sample videos. And unfortunately the camera will not turn on at this point. I think both uh, are probably just gone at this point. Uh, anyway, thankfully, I filmed the majority of my talking segments on the EM5 Mark II, so we do have that as far as sample video goes. And, oh, hi, Callie. And I do have a decent amount of sample footage, just not as much as I wanted, not as much as I would normally have. Uh, anyway, back to the video. Now, in terms of video, there's no 4K, but there is 1080p at 24, 30, and 60 frames per second. And it's worth noting too that that 24p is actually in all intro, which I'm actually filming on the Olympus right now, 1080p, 24 in all intro. And I think the footage actually looks pretty good. Now, in terms of autofocus, the Olympus EM5 Mark II is kind of a bummer because it only has contrast detect autofocus. Sort of to put this into perspective, when I film a shot like this on the Canon M6, I just hit record, get in front of the camera, and I don't even think about it. With the Olympus, I actually have to stand here for a few minutes, walk forward, walk back, walk forward, finally get the camera to kind of recognize that there's a human face here and then have it follow me back to where I need to be standing. and. Even still, I'm far enough away from the camera. I'm not really 100% sure that I'm in focus. I just, fingers crossed, hope that I am. But yeah, that really is kind of a downside with the EM5 Mark II. You know, I've gotta say, for me personally, I think one of my favorite aspects of the EM5 Mark II is that five axis image stabilization. It works in both stills mode and video mode, and it works really, really well. You know, to kind of give you guys an idea, I've been filming all of this B-roll with my 45 millimeter F1.8. That's a 90 millimeter full frame equivalent, and I've been filming all of it handheld. I haven't used a tripod or a gimbal or anything like that, and I'm still able to get completely smooth, steady shots. So it kind of begs the question, is the EM5 Mark II still worth it in 2021? Well. Let's put it this way. 
Kind of the whole premise of this channel is finding cameras that were relatively expensive back when they first came out. And now that some time has gone by, they've come down in price kind of a lot, but they still offer a good bit of value. You know, and that's just it. The EM5 Mark II offers so much for such a great price. I mean, sure, you're missing out on certain modern features like there is no 4K, but you've got really capable 1080p. You've got an articulating screen. You've got a mic input. You have absolutely amazing image stabilization, and you're getting all of that at a price of $260. That's crazy. That is, a, that is an absolute ton of value for what you're paying. So yeah, and that's it's, it's definitely worth checking out in 2021. I mean, you're getting so much bang for your buck. Uh, anyway, I think that's all I got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.